Hi everyone, welcome back to Java One for All. And in this video, we are going to talk about packages. So going back to our project, and uh, if you open uh, your uh, IntelliJ IDEA in the next day, you will get some tips. It's pretty useful, so you can learn a lot just by reading the, the tips that they are offering here. So at least one or two per day is not a big deal, and it will improve how you uh, work with your IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about packages. And uh, usually we explain packages way uh, after the introduction and the basics of Java. But uh, I would like to talk about it now because it's going to make a difference when you have several different classes. So right now we have only one class. Hello, Dev Dojo. And as you know, this class is inside the package, in this case, folder if you open uh, by right clicking and going show in explorer you will see that we have a folder called src so the src is just a folder and it's the source it's highly not uh, advisable to write or create classes directly into the source package usually intellij used to tell uh, that this is not a good idea but probably they removed that uh, that warning Okay, so what do we need to do to create packages and why do we need packages? So Java is very package oriented because uh, in a small project you can have easily more than 100 classes if the classes are highly cohesive. We're going to talk about this uh, in the future. But uh, it's pretty easy to get like 50, 60, 100, 200 classes in a, in a project. So if you have these classes organized, it makes your life and life that, uh, of people that's joining the project later way uh, easier to get started. So let's see how we can create packages. First, right click over SRC, all the packages, they are inside the source uh, folder. And then go to new and package. So as you are trying to become an awesome developer, you can also press alt insert and then go into package without using the mouse so we have conventions usually the package name starts with the url of the company inverted so in our case here um, we have our website that doge academy so when we are creating packages it should be academy dot dojo so this is the convention academy Dev Dojo, and then the name of the project uh, that you are working. Well, in our case, we do have some dashes, but in the package, it's not advisable to have dashes. So, Java one for all, and then dot the name of the the grouping that you are trying to do. So we don't have much knowledge about Java, but uh, for example, we could have a group for services, a group for DTO, a group for uh, controllers, and so on. So we are trying to group uh, in a way that all the classes that are going to do similar things will be together. So because it's easier to later on to understand, test, and uh, get started if you are new in the company. So what we are going to do, introduction. So we don't have much to do now, but uh, the next probably 20 videos will be only an introduction to Java before we get into object orientation. So we have here the package academy.dojo.java1forall.introduction and these are nothing more than just folder structures. If we right click and then go into uh, show in explorer, you will see that we have here dev dojo and then we have uh, java one for all and then the package src, the folder src in the explorer, and then academy, dev dojo, java one for all, and then introduction. But the folder is completely empty. So the packages in Java are just folder structures in uh, Windows or Mac in the, the file system, but each dot represents a folder uh, inside that uh, previous folder. So dev dojo is inside academy. Okay, we know. now, what should we do? We could start creating the, the classes directly here, or 
we can do something that we call refactor. What is refactor? Refactor is when you change something in one place and you would like everything else to be updated. Everything else that's using the thing that you are changing to be updated. We are going to see that in more details when we go uh, ahead with way more code. But right now, there is one thing that we can do to refactor. I want this Hello Dev Dojo from SRC directly into the introduction. So in IntelliJ, basically you just have to hold and drag and drop inside this package. And you will see here that we have some uh, checkboxes to search if this is being used uh, somewhere in comments or strings or text, text occurrences. And if uh, I want to open an editor uh, after I do this refactor. So I'll just click here and you will see that this class is going to change a little. Boom. And we have our first uh, change. So when we are creating classes inside the package, there is a rule. And if we do not follow this rule, things will not work. What is the rule? The first line of your file, in this case, hello uh, sorry, .java, should be the package name, exactly like we have here. So the only thing that can come before the packages is or are comments. But, but you're going to talk about this uh, in the next video. So you can type anything here. It will not break your code. But if you try to have your class before the package, boom, you have a problem. And if you don't write your your class that is inside a package with this package, if you just remove, you have another error. And it's saying it's missing package statement. So this is a compilation error. If you try to run, it will not run. So this is uh, the first rule that we have to remember. So first convention, it is the company's URL inverted, then the name of the project, and then the, the grouping that you would like to have. In this case, just introduction. And William, what happens now that we have here this uh, Java one for all, that was the previous uh, compilation that we had. Well, if we just compile again by clicking over build project or control F9, you will see that we will have a new folder structure. So if you don't see right away, just right click and then reload from disk. And you will see now that the out package, uh, actually in this case out uh, folder, has exactly the same structure as we see here. So the only reason why you're not seeing this like uh, we have here, this uh, expanded three like uh, in here, it is because uh, in the source, it's considered package. And here, it's more like just a folder directory. As you can see here, this directory is excluded. And uh, when we talk about the version control a little bit, you will uh, understand what the excluded means. So uh, I think that's enough. Just remember that now our classes will be inside of the introduction package. And when you have classes inside a package, the first statement should be the package name and it should match exactly where the, the file is. In this case, academy david dojo job on for all dot introduction. Uh, okay, so I think that's enough for one video. See you in the next one. Bye.